Marat refillable cartridge system for Epson Stylus Photo R3000. It's a great new desktop inkjet printer from Epson, ideal for professional photographers and keen enthusiast photographers who want to produce excellent colour and black and white photo prints that last. And it's very quiet. The downside to this printer is that although you get higher capacity cartridges of 25mm each, by the time the built-in chip tells you to change the cartridge, you may end up with using only around 20 millilitres of the ink that you bought, so that the current price you pay for a cartridge, this means that your Epson inks are costing you around a thousand pounds a litre, which works out at around a pound per A4 print, using up around one millilitre of ink. Using Lyson or Marat Professional Photographic inks, we can reduce that cost down to a fifth of that, around 20 pence for an A4 print, which makes high volume print photo printing in-house much more sensible. Both inks are of professional photographic quality and give you an equivalent or better image quality compared to the original brand ink. We've been testing refillable cartridge systems for the past 12 months and this particular type we have here was the most reliable by far and best of all it's the simplest to set up and use. When an Epson cartridge runs out, which we've got here, simply replace it with a Marat refill cartridge of the correct colour. So let's open up the let's open it up. We take out the 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 brand ink that's 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 gone. <coughs> We take the, 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 uh, uh, the refill cartridge of the correct colour and we fill it and prime it like this. Now we've got a little breather bung here that we take out. We've got a filler bung here and let's pretend we've got ink. We actually put, uh, we put uh, uh, around uh, a 25 to 30 mil of ink into our refill cartridge and that's the, that's the little hole we put it in. So we top it up to about that level there and having done that side what we then do is we put the filler bung back in and there now what we do is we put a little priming syringe into the bottom of the cartridge and we pull out about four or five millilitres of ink to make sure that the cartridge is properly primed and ready to enter the, the printer. And that's it, that's all we have to do. We we'll then clip it into the printer, run it down, and you'll see it's checking the it's checking the, the ink, and it will indicate a full condition because that's the that's the, the that's the, the, the little chip that's telling us that it's that it's full up. So we would have filled it up with ink, and it's in the printer. The cartridge has a similar memory chip to the original Epson cartridge so that when you use your new Marat refill cartridge you will see the front panel status monitor shows a gradually reducing ink level on the display. Now you'd use this as a rough guide as to when to refill. When you do refill you take out the cartridge, Let's take out the cartridge again, you'd fill it back up to the top then reset the little memory chip by shorting out two little contacts which are actually on the chip here. So you, it's a little tab that we provide and you reset that and that has reset the chip and then you can, you can, you can carry on printing yet again so you can go over and over the cycles.